Have you ever had the feeling that you were lost in the forest of life? Have you ever wondered sort of, who am I and where am I going and what's, what's life all about anyway? This session is to try to help give you a tool that can last your entire lifetime. It can focus your life and last you an entire lifetime. It can help you help others focus their life as well. It can actually help you focus your organization. And the beauty is that it can do it in less than 60 minutes. In less than an hour, you can focus your long-term thinking. That's what we'd like to do in this session. A quick story. When I was 59 years old, I'm now 72, but when I was 59 years old, I had that very feeling. I was thinking, who am I and, and where am I and where am I going? And I decided to spend most of the summer trying to figure that out. What I'm going to teach you today is the essence of what I concluded. And it's basically what I call the North Star. The North Star is not a destination. When you look up in the sky at night, the North Star is not some place you plan to end up. It's a thing that helps you know which way is north. It helps you know yeah, which way is north and never have that lost feeling like, I don't know what's north, south, east, or west. That's what I'd like to teach you in this session. What I'd like to do is share with you what the North Star is about, the essence of it, in a diagram, a simple diagram, and it looks like this. There are five basic, basic, basic questions you have to ask in life. The first one is basically a who question. Who is God? Your answer to the question, who is God, influences absolutely everything else. If there is no God, it influences everything. If you don't know who God is, that influences everything. If who God is, is Muhammad, that influences everything. If, the, if God is the God of the scripture and you believe in him, that influences everything again. So the first question you have to ask and always come back to as your North Star is who is God and what's his perspective on what I'm thinking about? The second question you need to ask is basically a purpose. What is my purpose? And that is a why question. If God is God and I've become a believer, why in fact am I still here? Why didn't he just take me to heaven? Why are you here? Why are you on earth? Is a question you have to wrestle with, deal with, define, conclude. And you know what? This rarely changes. And this rarely changes. These are good for 20, 30 years, 50 years. It may change a word or two as you <clears throat> think, reflect, plan, uh, read, grow. It may change a word or two here and there, but not a lot. These stay in place for a long time. The third question you have to ask yourself and wrestle with is what is my dream? That is a what question. If, if God is who he is, and this is why I'm here, what difference do I hope to make sometime before I die? That's in fact your dream. The question, what difference do I hope to make sometime before I die? A team dream is what difference do we hope to make before we separate as a team, we part as a team? Or what difference do we hope to make as a team in history? Now, your, your team dream is absolutely critical. D. James Kennedy would say, come join God's mighty army. I remember the first time I ever heard of, of, uh, of uh, Jim Kennedy was uh, uh, when I saw the film in our local church, like a mighty, mighty army. And it was like telling what could happen if Christians would come together and share their faith, etc. I worked a lot with not only Dr. Kennedy, but Dr. Bright. Come at, at the, today the campus, tomorrow the world. Those concepts are still viable, still energizing, still uh, focusing concepts. They're dreams. Uh, was it going to be something that was accomplished in one day? No. It was actually something that was going to uh, take a lifetime. It was, it was a direction to head, not something to be accomplished. 
And then after you, you, you define who God is and why you're here and what you're going to do about it, then you define your life work. That is a how question. That is a how question. That is, how will I make this difference, which fulfills my purpose on behalf of God, so that when I get to heaven, he'll say, well done, good and faithful servant. That's a how question. This is your life work. Many people in their uh, 37 to 43 year time range, many people right there say, Bob, I'm, I'm not sure where I am at the moment. I, I'm not sure uh, if I should change careers, if I'm successful, if I'm in the right business, if I'm in the right profession. I say, let me stop you for just a second. I think what you're looking for is a word, a single word, and that is life work. Almost every single time you say, that's it, that's it. I'm looking for my life work. What your life work is, could I see myself doing this the rest of my life? Part of what you need to ask yourself today, right now, is could I see myself doing what I'm doing for the rest of my life? If, if so, that's your life work. That's how you plan to fulfill your dream, to make the difference you hope to make, to fulfill your purpose, and to please God in heaven. The fifth concept you need to focus on and get clarity on is legacy. That is a how long question. That is a question, all right, I give my life to something, how long do I want it to last after I'm gone? One of the beauties of EE and the whole uh, life work being EE is that when you lead someone to Christ and help them grow into their full leadership potential and their, their spiritual maturity, they can go on for another 40, 50 years. And if you've got 40 or 50 people you've led like that, you've got 40 or 50 people influencing history hundreds of years beyond you. That's legacy. Now, there are eight reasons people do what they do. I cover that in a book called Why You Do What You Do. But one of those uh, reasons that we have for doing what we do is actually significance. Wanting to make a significant difference. And if you're watching this video, chances are that's one of your primary driving forces is to make a significant difference. But have you ever stopped to think, what is significance? Significance is making a difference that lasts over time. If you, if you say, all right, my, my, my role today is to uh, make a paper cup. And when someone uses that paper cup, it lasts for maybe five minutes, and then it's gone. It's, it's, that's its history. Significance is making a difference that lasts over time. If you build a building like this building we're in, you may think, well, this building will last 50 or 100 years. That feels a lot more significant than a paper cup. But consider this. If it only lasts 50 years or 100 years in history, how significant is it really? It's only actually relatively significant. It's, it's relative to a paper cup. It's very significant, but relative to history or eternity, it's, it's insignificant. What I've concluded in thinking about this is that the only way you're able to make a significant difference that's actually a significant difference is to affect eternity. When you lead one person to Christ who will spend eternity in heaven, you have made a more significant difference than a person who, build, who, who simply manufactures two million paper cups, makes a million dollars, has a yacht, has all kinds of stuff. It's like that one thing you do makes a more significant difference than all the material wealth in history. I, I like Bentley cars. It's like... Uh, Think me hedonistic, think me materialistic, think me any way you want. I don't have a Bentley, never will have, but I love the look and the feel of a Bentley car. It's just elegant to me. 
one day it began to be obvious to me, and this was when I was in my 20s, and it was a part of the reason I've given my life to Christian service, strengthening Christian leaders, is that if you have 25 brand new, sparkly, shiny Bentleys at about $750,000 a piece even, or 100, I don't know exactly how much they cost, and you throw in a Bugatti at $3.7 million, and you've got this field full of 25 Bentleys and a Bugatti to boot. One soul that you leave to, lead to Christ for all eternity is far more significant than 25 Bentleys and a, and a Bugatti because eventually they will all be rust and dust. But, they, but the human being that you lead to Christ will be a soul in all of eternity in heaven. Significant. Legacy. Leading people to Christ, growing them and discipling them. I, I'm not sure there is a more strategic, significant legacy than that one. Now, that is the North Star. This is what guides you. This is what uh, provides a direction for your entire life. Understanding, again, when you get confused, you say, Where am I? Where am I? Where am I going? Come right back to this and say, okay, regardless of what anyone else says, here's who I believe God to be. Regardless of my pagan family, regardless of, it's like, here's who God is. Here's why I'm here. Here's what I, the difference I hope to make before I die. Here's how I plan to do it. And here's how long I want it to last, which is a strategic, significant difference I want to make in life. That makes sense? That's the North Star. Now let me show you some of the benefits of having this clearly defined. A part of what you want to have defined is a sense of clear direction. That's what we're talking about today. You want to say, in life, I know the direction I'm headed. What that gives you is lifelong confidence. Confidence is a byproduct of two things, uh, or uh, lack of confidence, insecurity, stress, is a byproduct of two things, lack of direction or uh, a uh, indecision or lack of control. Stress is a byproduct of indecision or lack of control. When you have a clear direction, when you get to a lot of points in life, you've got clear direction, not, not lack of direction. It gives you a confidence in life, no matter what I run into, no matter what anyone says, no matter where I am, I've got a clear direction in life. It gives you a life confidence. And of course, seeing God as the point of it gives you God confidence. The, uh, the next thing it does is give you a context for life. Basically, nothing is meaningful without a context. Not one thing in your life is meaningful without a context. Uh, if you say to me, uh, Bob, uh, last year I made a million dollars. I say, wow. What did you make the year before? Mm, 20 million. You say, Bob, last year I made a million dollars. I say, great. What did you make the year before? 100,000. You see, a million dollars doesn't mean anything really without an understanding of context. If last year you made 20 million, you've had a bad year. <laughs> if last year you made 100,000, you've had a great year. So it's like, unless you understand the context of things, you really don't understand what anything means. And so by understanding the North Star, it not only gives you a sense of clear direction, basic life direction, but a sense of confidence that whenever I come to a decision point, I've got a, a context within to which to make that decision. And then it also reduces stress. So if you want something that gives you clear direction, increases your life confidence, gives you a context for every decision you'll ever make, and reduces your stress, the North Star is a good tool for that. 
One of the things that's really important to see is that as I've worked with 500 presidents, including Dr. Kennedy and Dr. Bright and Adrian Rogers and Josh McDowell, et cetera, one of the real keys is to realize the dream, to have a, a clear, clear, clear understanding of what your dream is and to be able to communicate that to your team. Communicate it in a way that the team understands it, agrees with it, and is motivated by it for the rest of their life as well. A large part of why you're here, you, why you're here on the team of EE is it's in alignment with what Dr. Kennedy saw back in the 70s. To reach the world for Christ until every person is heard. It's on this cup. The, uh, uh, till er everyone hears. I say, that's a part of the dream, till everyone hears. That's a part of your dream. It's part of the dream you're begetting to your, to your staff, to your uh, converts, to your, to your entire team. Th that dream is really, really important. And it can last for 50 years. That's a good part of it. It's like a dream doesn't last a day. It can last 50 years, 100 years, or more. Once you get that dream clear, you've got a, an ability to motivate people at a level you don't have before that's in place. And when I say it helps reduce stress, if you are going through life and you're zigzagging this way, it's like today you're up, the next day you're down, you're headed here, and then you're headed there, and you hit. By the way, I believe that what feels like zigzag to us is actually in God's economy a straight line. Because I think what you're doing today is within the context of his, his thinking for you. What, what he had in mind all along is a part of what you're doing today. But if you zigzag a lot, and if you could figure out a way to move that to a, more of a straight line, you see the time that's, that's not wasted. You see the stress that's reduced by that indecision right in there. That's what the North Star gives you, is an ability to see clearly where you're going so that you don't have all that zigzag in your life. Now, how do you go about creating your own North Star? What I'd like to do is suggest to you uh, that you take two minutes and you're going to say, two minutes, Bob, you can't expect me to do anything like this in two minutes. I said, well, try it. By all means, try it. Have your team try it. Have, it's like, try it. And ask yourself, in two minutes, write down, I see God to be this in two minutes. Just complete that sentence. The way I see God is this. And write down what you, who you see God to be in two minutes. Now, you can refine it over time, but what you're going to find is that in that two minutes, if you count, your, you know, if you, if you count it on a clock, two minutes, you're going to find that your unconscious, your, your, your thought process, it doesn't move to a logical process of who is God. Let's see, God according to Francis Schaeffer, according to Jim Kennedy, according to, uh, you know. No, that's not the way it goes. In that two minutes, you will answer how you see God. Then give yourself two minutes for this. All right, why am I here? Same thing will happen. You, and when you get done reading it, you're going to find that it's shockingly accurate. It's shockingly an expression of what is really in your heart. And then two minutes on the difference you hope to make sometime before you die. And two minutes on what, what would be my life work? What could I see myself doing the rest of my life? And is this it? and then two minutes on legacy. I will guarantee you that if you give yourself two minutes on each one of those, you'll be shocked at how clearly it, you'll, you'll find life becomes. And so when I said you can define a direction that'll last for a lifetime in less than 60 minutes, it's actually about 10 minutes. You, you need to understand the context. You, you need to understand the introduction to the material to to see why it's important and all that. That's what I've been talking to you about. But if you'll give yourself two minutes on this, two minutes on this, two minutes on this, two minutes on this, it takes approximately 10 minutes. It's like, 
Everyone has 10 minutes they can give to clarifying their North Star. Try it, you'll see. Now, what you're going to find is that once you get that done, ask yourself this. If someone were to ask you, what's the essence of what you believe to be true? Where are you going in life? When you show them that, ask yourself, would that pretty well summarize it? I think you'll say, yes, it would. Now, you can refine it a word or two here and there in the next hour or two or over the next 10 years or next two months. But what you're going to find is that you've got a pretty good look at it in 10 minutes. Now, I'm not going to try to summarize all of it except to say, there's your North Star. And now you've got a tool that can help you focus your life or refocus your life or refocus your thinking any time in a matter of minutes. Once it's done, it isn't going to change that much. So when you're feeling out of focus, like who am I, where am I, where am I going, just look at that and you'll say, oh yeah, okay, okay. That hit I just had, that disappointment I just had, okay, in relationship to God, what does that mean? In relationship to my purpose, what does it mean? In relationship to my dream, my life work, my legacy. And when you see that hit that you had, it becomes a lesson that moves you toward this in preparation for what else God has in mind for you. And it just brings perspective and meaning to every single thing that happens to you. A good thing or what you think of as a bad thing. So it'll help you for the rest of your life. And the North Star is not just for you. It's for anyone that looks to you for leadership. Someone comes to you and says, oh, I'm so confused. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what to do next. Take them through a 10-minute exercise. <laughs> You're going to find it. It really helps. It really works. Try it. You'll see. You may say, well, evangelism explosion doesn't work. You put a pen with two question marks on it. It isn't going to work. I say, really, try it and see. You're going to see it does work. And the North Star, here's a part of the good part of it uh, to remember. The North Star concept is available to you 24 hours a day. Whenever you're discouraged, ill-focused, feeling lost, it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the rest of your life. 